Right, hi guys, and welcome back to the Lolo Masterfast My Team Career Mode, or whatever you want to call it. And yes, Episode Zero is very much just getting the team ready to go, rearing, ready to race at Australia. Hopefully we're not going to be more than 12 seconds off the pace. Uh, we've got our teammate, of course, Mahiva Ragyanathan, the Lord himself. And uh, we're about to go to Australia to see how competitive we are. I wonder how uh, competitive we will be, actually. It's going to be an interesting one to see. We're entering free practice one, and we're just about to do a full lap of climatization. I won't normally show you this, but I thought it's the first time the car's going to be out on track, so I just want you to enjoy the pure... There he is! There he is! That's Lord... Lord Ragginathan himself. He can do a three-point turn better than anyone. So here we go, we're about to start the climatization lap, and first impressions of the car are it's not too bad, actually. Um. As you can see, just entering Sector 1, just through the first turn there, we've got Kimi Raikkonen in the bloody way. We open our DRS flap nice and wide though, and Kimi gives us room, so it doesn't affect our racing line too much. Uh, it seems to be really, like, slidey and just not quite grippy in the slow stuff. This sort of speed section, it's not too bad if you get the line right. If you're slightly offline, then the car washes out wide all the time and it's just a real struggle. Fast speed stuff is relatively okay here, I've rarely had any problems, and in the slow speed stuff, when we come round to the last sector, you'll see what I mean, it's just very, uh, very slidey and just so difficult to get in on the uh, slow speed stuff, but as you can see here, we're not doing too bad, purple's most of the way through, so, you know, traction and grip is there, and as we're just about to come and start sector 3 now, this corner, not too many problems, nice and chucking it in. Anyone that washes out wide on that corner though knows that curb of death and you're off to the right hand side and in the barriers. I may have done that a couple of times, uh, yeah. <laughs> but I didn't show you obviously, because this is a serious, serious my team and I would never ever crash on purpose. So we're just about, here you go, look, this is what I mean, it's just so difficult to turn in, look, we just slide out wide there, round here we're on throttle, off throttle, just getting it absolutely right, flap open nice and early. And there we go, we cross the line and we're going to jump straight into qualifying now. And uh, yeah, not a bad lap there, and straight into qualifying towards the end of the lap, where we're going to end up. Uh, I did a qualifying run and it said we should be hoping for 17th, so let's see where we get, as again you can see just the car fighting me all the way around through that last corner, well, whoa, nearly Ripper's wheel off on the corner there and this is his only qualifying lap and it puts us 20th so far so we're about to find out where we ended up and if we made any more improvements unfortunately for me I didn't and where did the Lord Raginathan did he improve no of course he didn't we ended up 20th and 22nd out qualifying Nick Latifi so that's a decent effort but yeah we've got further than the actual Lola Mastercard team ever did because they failed to qualify for this race Months of rumour and speculation all come to an end today as we return to Melbourne for the opening race of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along then to the Australian Grand Prix. Sorry, I'm just going to have to interrupt you there, David. I do apologise, but we have got Jesus in the pond. There you go. He was separating the fishes there. Wow, he's going to be feeding the 5,000. That's a miracle. There was a man floating on the water there. Well done, Codemasters. Absolutely cracking effort once again. You just put a man in the middle of the lake. Fantastic stuff, fantastic effort there, Codemasters. Congratulations. Can Mercedes start with victory in their bid to win a seventh consecutive constructors title? Could Ferrari or Red Bull establish an advantage early on? And with 22 cars on the grid, how quickly can the new team find their footing? Well, it's great to be back, Anthony Davidson. We've got a lot to talk about this year. That's right, Crofty. It felt like a long winter, but it's good to finally be back. I have to think the usual suspects will battle it out at the front, but there are always going to be some teething problems early on in the season, so whoever can keep on top of their issues will have the advantage today. As I mentioned earlier, we're up to 11 teams this season, with a new entry run by, well, of all things, an owner-driver. That's something we haven't seen in this sport since Hector are back over four decades ago. So how are they looking so far? Ever since their participation was announced, there were questions being asked about whether an outfit like this could survive. And certainly it's proving to be a trial by fire so far. 
let's hope they can continue to draw an investment and find a little more pace as well. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Bottas, Verstappen, Alexander Albon, and Vettel, Ricardo, Sainz, Kvyat, and Lando Norris, Ocon, Stroll, Sergio Perez, and Gasly, Raikkonen, Magnussen, Roman Grosjean and George Russell, the scientist Latifi, Ragunathan and Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. So as you can see there, we're actually going to be starting P19 and P21 after a 10 place grid penalty for Giovinazzi. We've got our race strategy ready, we've engaged the clutch, it's going to be 5 lights out any second now and it is away we go on the My Team Korea with low low master fast. We've had a cracking start, Russell's had an even better one ahead. We're breezing past Corrosion right about now and we've got Russell up the inside, we go up the inside of Russell, do we? Oh, we've had a hit from behind with Latifi, I believe that was, we threw on Russell though and we're into P17. Yep, we've got a warning for a collision with Latifi and now we've got K-Mag ahead in the fellow Haas car, he's lunging up the inside, we're up the inside of Raikkonen there I believe, we're on the grass. Oh, we've... Wow, Gasly around the outside of the pair of us, us and Raikkonen, we're through into P16 now. Gaining on Raikkonen, but gained one and lost one instantly with Pierre Gasly. And as you can see, things just starting to quieten down just that little bit already on lap one. But we're still attacking Gasly. Raikkonen is still attacking us on the medium compound tyre. He's got Russell behind for company. And yeah, we're doing okay at the moment. P16, we're up three places from our starting position after Giovinazzi's penalty. And just to say that, Giovinazzi, as you can see, and Russell are battling hammer and tongs. That position keeps changing down there for P18. We're closing in on Gasly at the moment. We go a little bit wide there, but oh, get the switch back. Yes, we're okay. We're fine through there. We're flat on the throttle. We're in standard mix at the moment. Just taking it steady, keeping that fuel reserve for a later lap. Uh, but yeah, we're keeping up okay at the moment in P16 as we end lap one. We should be in P16, providing there's no dramas through this last corner. And we're going to try and lunge it up the inside of Gasly. No, not quite, but we do catch up. Just as everyone concertinas together through that final sector. We're going to have a good go at him down the straight though I believe. Are we going to go into the overtake button? Not quite yet. We're reserving our ERS for later laps as well. And yeah, Gasly's flying up a load of sparks. He's running quite low to the ground. Getting as much downforce as he can on that Alpha Tauri. We're still behind him. Still behind him. But unfortunately we don't get past him. We're just going to be maintaining P16 for now. We try and have one more look there. It's not possible, and then they start to break away as we go into Sector 2. And oh no, what's this? Lord Ragunathan himself is out of the race at the end of lap 2. The safety car has been deployed. We're just about to overtake the safety car now before we get to the safety car line, so no penalty for that. Run wide for good measure as well, but what has happened to Lord Ragunathan? And there you go, sadly it just looks like a mechanical failure for Ragunathan. He's pulling off to the side of the road by the looks of things. Indeed he does, and he's out at the end of lap two. What a shame for him. And as you can see, box this lap. Did you hear that? We're telling Jeff we're coming in. Our sh scheduled strategy was to come in on lap 10. Lap number 10 of all things. But unfortunately, uh, I've decided I'm going to do a Dave hook. <laughs> an F1 Games PlayStation. And I'm going to be lunging it into the pit lane at the earliest opportunity to try and take advantage of the safety car. So we don't have to stop again. And hopefully that will give us a mighty amount of track position at the end of the race. As you can see, P16, we're only really going to be racing around with the Halfers and the Hassers. So I thought, let's get it in. Let's do a Huckster. Let's pit for some fresh hard tyres and try and make them last the rest of the race. Obviously, we've still got a couple of laps behind the safety car. Um, so we're not going to wear them out too much just yet. And the lads go to work there. And it's a 2.9 second pit stop. Not bad for a first pit stop for the new low, low master fast lads. And out we exit the pits in 21st place. Last of the runners. And uh, yeah, we're going to catch up the behind the safety car. And we're going to go again. So here we are, look. We're just ending the safety car on lap 5. We're going to get the throttle down now. And oh, oh no, too early on the throttle. Too early. I've lost it. I've lost a whole heap of time there. And uh, sadly, yeah. We're going to have to put it into overtake mode, stick some rich mix fuel on like I do to try and catch that back up. But yeah, that was an unfortunate 
restart uh, there, but our first restart in the car. So it's to be expected that there's going to be some mistakes, isn't there? Well, that's what I'm going to tell the team anyway. <laughs> and as you can see at the end of lap six, we made up that deficit. We're on the back of Latifi. We're attacking around the outside of him. Nothing yet. Going to go for a cutback. Not quite. As we just go through, go on, go on, go on, power, 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 he's on the kerb. We're in rich mix, we overtake button and we're through into P20 now as we start lap 7. And we're attacking Grosjean for P19 now. We're going to try and get that P19 off the Haas car. Come on, come on Lola, let's do it, let's do it. And as you can see, the same place a lap later, at the end of lap 7, we've got Grosjean, we've got Russell. And an alpha ahead as well. And there we go, Grosjean. He's up on the kerb. He's bouncing. We're in rich mix. We're in overtake mode. But that Ferrari engine is looking strong. I <laughs> said no one ever. Oh dear. But we lunge up the inside. Do we? Yep. Wheel bang. Wheel bang. But we're through. We are through into P19 on lap 8. Fantastic stuff. And we're going to go chasing down Russell and Raikkonen now. Raikkonen still on the mediums. And Russell on old soft tyres. Can we do anything from here? Bit of a slide on there, that's going to cost us time going through Sector 2 and sadly nothing yet, but I'm sure an overtake will come shortly. And here we are in fact, a little bit later on into lap 8, and we've got Russell there, we're going to go up the inside, surely not here, DRS open, we're attacking, oh but Russell's got DRS on at Raikkonen, and no, nothing just yet, but we're into this last sector again where we like to do some overtakes. That last corner we seem to get a good run out, oh we've just touched the back of him there. That was a naughty nudge, and yeah, we've got still got pressure from behind from Grosjean as well. As you can see, the corner arrow going mad at the bottom of the screen there. We're trying round the outside for a switchback once again, are we? Yep, rich mix, overtake, DRS, we've got everything possible, but the Mercedes engine again, look! A Mercedes engine this time, well that's a bit more believable, but we're going to go up the inside, bang wheels again slightly, but we are through into P18 now, and Raikkonen ahead, struggling on those mediums it seems. And lap 9, we're just coming through the fast sweeping section here. Is Raikkonen going to get it wrong? Well, he goes a little bit wide. We've got DRS. Oh, no. We keep it in standard mix, though. We're not going to try anything too silly. We do want to bring the car home. He's locked up, though. No, but he doesn't run wide. We just don't want to do anything silly. We want to make some good moves. We're up the inside here, though, at the second to last corner. And, yes, we force him out. He has to back out of that before he has a trip through the gravel. Some uh, firm but fair racing then from the low, low master fast. And we're into P17 as cars start making their pit stop now. So this is going to be an impressive to see how high we've actually climbed. We have lost some time whilst battling. But we're about to go straight up into P14, is it? No, P13 and ahead of Vettel for now. Well, that's amazing. Verstappen and Hamilton have snuck out ahead of us, but that's to be expected. But we're currently ahead of a Ferrari, so we'll take that on lap 10 for sure. And as we're on lap 10 now, about to start lap 11, there's more cars in the pits and oh my goodness me, we're up into 7th place and the points and remember, we don't have to stop again but we've gone wide there, that's not good, we've got pressure from behind as you can see the corner arrow is going mental there, that's Vettel, we still held Vettel for an entire lap but he can't get past us just yet despite him showing his nose everywhere, we keep it on the racing line and there's no way through. And latterly in lap 11, we're going through the fast sweeping section once again. We're going to hit the kerb and take the corner marker out. Oh, dearie me. And we go wide. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, brown pants moment there. We've had a right slide on. But thankfully, we save it out the barrier. No damage to the car, but that's led Vettel to go up the inside. We're going to try and attack around the outside, though. He's left us space. Come on. Come on, we can keep him. We can keep him behind us here. We can. Oh, we can. Are we going to lunge it? No, no. We thought to be sensible there. The Ferrari was, of course, quicker. But keeping him behind for two laps was an impressive effort. And we've got the likes of Alex Albon behind us now. But we get DRS on Vettel, so that should keep him behind us for a little bit longer, fingers crossed. Although that corner arrow is getting closer. It's getting closer, but no, not uh, just yet. We go a little bit wide. Albon, no, no, he backs out of that. And, uh, yeah, we maintain P7. And into lap 13 now. We've kept Albon behind us for a good couple of laps here. We're doing really well. I can't believe we're in the points. We're currently P6 now as the two racing points were ahead and they pitted for tyres. So they're going to be catching us up as you can see Perez is behind Albon. And Albon still attacking us. We've had a bit of a slide out of that last corner. We've got the power down but 
it looks like Albon with the DRS, it looks like he's hitting overtake as well, he's just going to breeze past us on his fresher hard tyres, and through he goes, he locks up though, that's not good for the tyres, and we're going to attack back, are we? Oh, bit of a nudge, bit of a nudge, he's got DRS on us though, and we're going to try and make a move into this corner, doesn't look like it, we're too far back, we can't lunge it, and uh, yeah, unfortunately down to P7, but still doing a cracking job, absolutely cracking job, that strategy seems to be working at the moment, uh, but... Albon is pulling away and Perez is catching quite rapidly it seems down to two seconds of the gap now after his stop so we're going to be uh, getting pressure from the racing points behind any moment and as I mentioned that it look there we go we've got the corner arrow behind us on lap 17 that's Sergio Perez right up our derriere wanting to get through wanting to make a move uh, where is he going to be able to do it though we're in this last sector again this is where we were making all the moves at the start of the race after our tyres uh, after our pit stop but this time it's not to be we're going to run wide there as our tyres start to go off we've already done 14 laps on these tyres let's not forget and it looks like we could be getting Perez up our inside any second now he's in, he's through, he's on the mediums fresher mediums at that as well and Perez is through into P7, we drop down to P8, but we're going to try and fight back, a lot of sparks from the back of Perez's car as well, but alas, not to be just this time unfortunately, um, we've lost a position to him too. And towards the end of lap 18, you can see we've got Lance Stroll, Daddy Racing himself behind, and is he going to be making a move? Well, the corner arrows are getting closer. The indication is that he's breezing past us, and that he is. We're going to try and hold on round the outside, though, if we can. We can. He's left us space. But we go up onto the Astro turf. That loses us a bit of traction. We're off on the grass now completely. And uh, Stroll gets DRS, flies up the sparks once again. The racing points running low, as well as Gasly's Alpha Tower. And we go right wide as we try and overtake round the outside. And that's lost us some time. But we have to fight for it. We're down to P9 now, sadly, on lap 19 with 10 laps to go. These hard tyres aren't looking like they're going to last. And here we go, lap 19, the same lap as Stroll getting past us. We're going to go a little bit wide, are we? Yes, just a shade. We don't defend the inside. We were just trying to gather it up there. We had a quite a lot of wheel spin on the kerb. And that allows Ricardo to breeze past. But I don't think Ricardo's going to have it easy. We're looking as though we're going to be attacking him. Of course, we're going to be getting DRS, don't forget in this sector if we can keep within a sec second of him and we can there we go we've got the DRS are we going to be able to lunge him it touches the grass a little bit there the DRS flap is wide open uh, we're not going to hit overtake though we're saving that ERS we've got quite a lot of ERS energy actually and I was just struggling to get used to the new settings and we go up the inside and tag the back of him I think that flicks a bit of our front wing off but we look okay we've got DRS once again we're going to try and make a dive around the outside, are we, or up the inside, perhaps? I'm not too sure. No, just too far away at the moment. We go a little bit wide there, but we're still very much on the back of him at the moment. Looks like we're just about to lose out, though, now. Don't think anything else exciting is going to happen unless we send it properly up the inside here, but we're down to P10 in the final point. Here we go, here we go. No, no, unfortunately not. It's not happening there for us, but we've got one more overtaking opportunity, I think, before he really takes hold down the... Uh, straights and there we go no again unfortunate the tyres are wearing out but we had a cracking battle there with Ricardo for half a lap but sadly it wasn't to be we're down to P10 and on lap 24 we had a massive gap to Norris and I thought Do you know what we might just get a point and sadly it wasn't to be our tyres have completely gone now you'll see us oversteering out of every corner we've got no grip left at all these tyres have done far too much we're running wide there oh no we're on the grass the corner arrow is getting closer and closer and we're keeping him at bay just for now but as I was mentioning before Ricardo rudely overtook us um, and Lando's about to overtake us as well actually is he going up the inside yes he is we'll leave him we'll leave him racing room oh we've just had a bit of a bump though but yeah, unfortunately, that is us out of the points now, down to P11. The dream was not to be. Still on lap 24, still going okay. We run wide though, the tyres are gone at this point. And I didn't want to pit. I didn't want to pit because I thought, you know what, let's keep it one stop. If I pit, I'm definitely not going to get points. And then I realised how quick everyone else were catching me. And if I'd have pitted again, I'd have been last. I'd have been around 19th, 20th. And we run wide there. 
and here we go that's Esteban Ocon through in his Renault drive and there you go P11 he's got it easy sadly and yeah we're down to P12 now unfortunately it's not a good race for us now it seems to be unfolding rather rapidly but we're going to try and have a look now sort of an half assed attempt there it's not to be it's just not our race this race but for a brand new team I think we've showed quite a lot of promise and we're on to lap 26 now we've got Pierre Gasly in the Alpha Tower behind us he was sparking well at the start as you see and we've gone incredibly wide incredibly wide there that's just let Gasly get right on the back of us he was about 1.6 off he's less than a second behind us now he'll be trying to make a move any minute we need to get this absolutely right if we can but yeah the tyres are just giving in we've gone wide once again there's no grip left on the uh, front left at all and Gasly easily sweeps through with the help of DRS there still sparking well and we've got round the outside now Sainz oh we have contact with Sainz that's not going to help matters we get a warning for the collision with Sainz I wonder how much damage he's got it looks like he's slowed down uh, but we're into the last sector now minding our own business in P13 and Science is in fact peeling off into the pit lane so some damage was done with that contact as Science tried to overtake us round the outside that was just a shame really a racing incident and as we come on to the final lap here this is a cracking last lap we've got Givinazzi we've got Kevin Magnussen in the Haas attacking us we're P4 P13 I should say and we've got K-Mag that's for P14 now we're down one we're down a position we touched the back of him every position counts we're up the inside we've touched in we're through we're through into p13 are we yes we are as charles leclerc wins the race in the ferrari we're up on the curbs our tires are absolutely gone but at this point i didn't care i was clinging on to every position i couldn't i've gone wide i've gone wide that's k-mag through once again and the Haas appears to be through now or are we going to try and lunge it up the inside are we are we yes we're going to try and go for it but no we can't quite do it and that looks like Kevin Magnussen's through into 13th on the last lap we've got Giovinazzi for company behind us now he's on a lot fresher tyres as everyone is to be honest and uh, yeah he's going to be attacking us any minute you can see the corner arrow at the bottom of the screen going absolutely mental as to where his car is we've got a DRS flap open right now Giovinazzi's looking 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 he's about to go red is it yes it is we've not left him any room at all really and he squeezes up the inside and he goes wide and we're through back into P13 on the final final sector we've gone through the gravel though we've gone through the gravel Giovinazzi is right but up behind us again it's going to be a close finish we've run wide into the second to last corner we're covering the inside as much as we can you can see him in his mirrors he's trying every which way to get through but it's not to be it looks like we're going to be taking p14 on our debut for the team fantastic get in i'm well happy with that a cracking effort a shame for ragging athen to unfortunately retire on lap two he didn't prove what he was capable of as Giovinazzi gets driver of the day well congratulations to him a great race then and a fantastic huh. there he is i don't think he's smiling at the moment in real life is he I don't think they'll be getting any wins either. They've clearly <laughs> rendered this game on the uh, 2019 performances of cars without a doubt. As you can see the Ferrari boys relatively happy there with their day. They've got a victory. They'll be well chuffed with that. Who's that? That's Sergio Perez. He's happy with P7 and I would be as well. A good strategy by them to bring both racing points into the points with ease really. And as you can see it's Charles Leclerc followed by... Lewis Hamilton and then Valtteri Bottas and there you go Leclerc lifts the trophy aloft and you know what it's time for now it's the champagne and there you go there's the results of the race we finish p14 we make it on page one so that's an effort that's something to improve on but we make page one and as you can see george russell down there in p18 is that so not a good day for williams and there you go nick latifi one lap down kimi raikkonen struggled that race didn't he he's also a lap down and raginathan the only retirement sadly but we've done more than what lola mastercard ever did in real life we've actually finished a race and not just finished the race we actually qualified for the race as well so an absolutely cracking effort there by the boys at Lolo Masterfast 
We've improved our stats or statistics or whatever this is. I'm not really sure what it is, to be honest. But there he is. He's not looking impressed that he retired, but that's one of them things. And, uh, yeah, it looks like we've got some... Oh, I did 30 grand's worth of damage. Well, I did actually race. He was out on lap two, wasn't he? So, you know. But give me some of that sweet, sweet cash ole. 2.75 million in the bank. Wow. I might go uh, run into the bank now with that. Absolutely. And uh, we're just going back into the headquarters now to see what's happening. wonder if there's any Karens around. No, there isn't, but we've made some money. We've lost some money. Uh, what we're going to do here, look, we're going to try and advance some time here. Oh, here we go. We're going to add an event in. We need a two-day event, really, don't we? Make the most of our time. And what we're going to do... What we're going to do... Oh, we're going to do a sponsor event. We're going to put a little spread on for sponsors. A nice little buffy. Pork pie, scotch eggs, egg and cress sandwiches, of course. No expense spared at Lolo. And there we go. We're going to go to the R&D tree. As you can see, we've got over a thousand resource points now, so we're going to get it spent. Unfortunately, out of the two upgrades that we tried last time, one did fail, so we're going to redo that, because there's 0% chance of failure, so we'll get that on the car. Improve the performance of the car a little bit, and we're going to add some durability as well, are we? Yep, looks like we are, or potentially some aero. What we're going to do? Not quite sure. Uh, I'm not sure if we are going to develop the front wing at all. Yes, we are. We're going to do front wing. Melt with the aero, because that slow speed stuff we are struggling in. So there you go, guys. That was episode one. And I'd just like to apologise now for the continuous recording of this bit. Um, but that was unfortunately due to the PS3 running out of memory. And it had only let me continually record. I couldn't keep stopping and pausing. That's a bad on my part. I'll work that out for next time. But thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I'll see you in episode two next week. Much love.